All right, I'm going to show you something here in Studio One. We're going to stretch some things. But I want to explain something real quick first. If we go into like our files or our loops, right? Let's just pull in pop. We've been doing a lot of pop. You see how um, when you pick a loop here and you look down here, you see where it says 88 BPM? This loop was, oops, stop. This loop is basically telling Studio One that, yo, I was recorded at 88 BPM and I'm set now at 88 BPM. And that's important because if you drag it into a project, see, and we're at 120 BPM, it lined, it still lined itself perfectly up to the grid, right? Everything's on beat. It's just faster. So that, that is because, um, I'm going to show you something. If you select it, if you select your event and open up the inspector over here and now at the very bottom, we're going to look at some information about that event. You see where it says file tempo here? It knows that this clip was recorded at 88 BPM. We could get rid of that, just delete it. And then watch what happens to the clip up top. It now stretches to its original beat and goes, I I'm not going to align myself to the grid because I don't even know how fast I am because it's not even set here. I don't even know. I kind of have amnesia now. I don't even know how fast I was recorded. So I'm not going to snap to your grid because you didn't tell me how fast I am. And now if we listen to it, it's slow. It's actually playing at 88 beats per minute even though the tempo of our song is at 120 beats per minute because we erased its memory and now we didn't tell Studio One how fast this clip was recorded at. So Studio One can't adjust it to our grid. So the only way this is going to be aligned perfectly to the grid is if we set the tempo down here at 88 and then you see it lines up perfectly with the grid. And if we turn on our metronome, we can hear it's right there with it. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. If we put this back at 120, and now I hit play, our metronome's playing at 120. The clip is still playing at 88. So the trick is when companies make these clips or personas makes these clips, these loops, and they're recorded at a certain beat per minute, it's very smart of them to say, look, program, this thing was recorded at 88. So if you want to play your song at 120, we can adjust to that because we know we were originally at 88. I hope this makes sense. When the, when the loop knows how fast it was recorded at, it can adjust itself to, to the grid. Now, say you, don't, say you don't want it to adjust to the grid and you want to stretch it to your own personal liking, right? Like, let's just say for some crazy example, we didn't play anything with our metronome on, right? We just, I'm going to mute this. I'm going to bring in, like, let's just bring in presence and play a piano. I'll show you something cool here. So instruments, personas, let's go to presence, drag it in, and play piano. Let's just go into artist instruments and play a real quick piano. It loads so fast, right? These artist instruments are quick little, fast little instruments that sound okay, but they load fast. Okay, so watch this. I'm just going to play something out of my head at my own speed, random. So the metronome's off. I hit record. I'm going to go. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know how fast that was recorded at. All I know is it's in my project and I'm going to I'm going to just like put the start of it right at the start. I'm going to play it. Cool. Now, because that's at a, a random speed, this loop is never going to match up perfectly with it. But if you hit Control, Control and Alt, 
and grab the end of a clip. You see that it turns into a little metronome with an arrow? That means you could stretch this clip to however far you want to outward. And let's turn off snapping so it doesn't even snap to the grid because we want it to go right to the end, like right there. And let's hear that. Oh, turn it on. Oops, here we go. It's still not. So we could stretch it even more. It doesn't even line up with that. But I, I guess the moral of this story, what I'm trying to tell you guys is you could take any clip that you have, can control all and stretch it. That's the long way. Uh, that's basically what I was trying to say. You can stretch it to wherever you want. And if you have it snapped to the grid, you could snap it to the grid. You can make your clip short. You can make your clip long. All right, let's snap this to the grid too then. So, so they'll both be on time. Now you get the idea. You see what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you see what I'm trying to do. Anyway, you could drag in any clip in Studio One. That's so funny. I, I totally mess up my videos and I don't even re-record. Just leave everything the way it is. Let the people sort it out. I crack myself up with my laziness. Um, so just know that if the clip has a tempo in here the program knows how fast it was recorded so it can adjust it to the grid if that's not there then this thing has no clue where to start and begin as far as tempo so um and then if you want to just stretch it on your own control alt drag the end and we got totally changed sound. or you drag it original So just know you have that feature if you need to stretch out a clip for whatever reason. And if you if you need to stretch out a clip for whatever reason, my mind gets ahead of itself. And um, you can just hit control. All. Now just know that if you stretch too far, it's going to sound totally messed up. Which might be a cool effect if you want to use that in your song in a as an effect. That's cool. Because that's that's pretty badass. But if you make it really short, it's going to kind of do the same. This is not going to sound right. But you do have that option to stretch things. And you could stretch MIDI notes. You could stretch audio clips. You could stretch whatever you want. Control, Alt, Stretch. All right, enjoy that. And um, sorry I took the long way around to get there, but at least I did inform you about this little file tempo thing over here it's you'll see numbers next to a lot of your clips that's just the beats per minute 105 is this guy so if you pull this into the track you're going to see that file tempo is 105 you could change it you could say no i think this clip was recorded at 200 and then it'll be all jacked up and not know what's going on but it it might suit your purposes for some wacko reason anyway explore enjoy see ya